This is an X96 Triple X from Extra Yachts. Extra Yachts are actually part of the Palumbo brand. They're big super yacht builders. This is a rather more compact, at least in super yacht terms, yacht, but it's still an absolutely spectacular vessel. So we're gonna give you the full tour of this. We're gonna to go to every area. We're gonna step on via this passerelle. We talk about stern tube berthing. That's exactly what we're gonna do here. I will point out that there is a retractable bathing platform. That'll drop into the water. That'll take a five meter rib. There's also a gouge on the front for a four meter rib. There's um, sea bob storage as well, which is very helpful. And there's also these steps that will lower down into the water or raise up to the quay. But we're going on this way. Stern tube berthing at its best. Here we go. This is magnificent. So if we come around here, what we're going to do is we're going to go straight in and look at the main deck. First of all, we're going to go through the whole accommodation, but we're going to cover everywhere. The deck areas, the flybridge, the engine room, the crew cabins, the lot. And we're going to start right here. Look at this. Now, the big news with this yacht is the beam. It's hugely wide, 7.4 meters, I think I'm right in saying and you can feel it right throughout the whole yacht. And this is the first place that you really get it because you've got this wonderful seating area around here, but look at all this floor space over here. It's absolutely tremendous. I like the finishes in here, I like the light upholstery and the dark wood, and then this sort of stone finish across here. That looks really great. Big windows in here as well, as you can see. There's a TV that rises out of here, as you'd expect, and we'll carry on forward and we will give you the full tour. Love these lights. Look at these designer lights here. Beautiful. Anyway, let's press on forward. First of all, we'll cover the whole of the main deck, and then we'll work our way down to the guest accommodation, and then we'll go on up. Lots to see on here. <laughs> Love all this stuff. It's beautiful. There is day heads tucked away in here on the main deck. And then when we come to here, this door is the door to the owner's cabin. Once we was there, that's entirely the owner's cabin domain. But what's great is the way it's been split out into three sections. You can see there's a bulkhead here and another one up there. If we look at this one, this is all a massive dressing area down here. So you've got these huge wardrobes that come along like this. And then we can come right on into here. We've got this lovely dressing area and we've got the shoe closet. <laughs> Fantastic. Just so much space for everything. And then there's like a desk area over here. So if you want to do a little bit of work, you can do. Or use that however you like. It'd be a wonderful place to work from home or from the boat, wouldn't it? That view straight out of there. And as I say, it's kind of zoned off because as you step on forward again, you've got this. And again, you're feeling the beam. We're well, right out to the edges here because the uh, deck areas go up above this cabin. So full beam with a boat. And it's vast, absolutely vast. We'll come forward again. You'll find things like more storage tucked away in places like this. It's everywhere on this boat. Same on the other side. This is a wonderful big area. And then we come forward again and drop down a couple of steps and we're into the ensuite. And what we've got here is this big open area. We've got the twin basins, as you can see, more sort of dressing areas and so forth over here. And then just here, we undo that one. We have got the toilet and we've got the bidet, all in its own separate little area. And on the other side, we've got a similar thing for the shower. So if we close that one back up, spin on round. There we go. You'll find that one in there. Really lovely big shower. Again, love the choice of the um, finishes in here as well. Looks really smart. Excellent, so that is mostly the main deck. There's a crew area which I'm gonna to come to um, shortly. We're gonna press on back though and we're gonna go down to the lower deck first of all. So this is the door we came in that sort of demarks this area for the owner. We're back out through here. There's stairs here. We can drop down. And now we're into the lower deck. So big cabins down here. Again, you're feeling that beam. Look how far away these beds are from each other. Just feels like a really big cabin. And again, these finishes, I love the way that this wood kind of wraps around all the way. You haven't got square edges in the corners. It just curves organically all the way around. You've got hanging locker over here. And talk about attention to detail. Look how these are 
extra yachts hangers. <laughs> well, that is attention to detail. And then just ahead of this, we have the ensuite again with the B day. We've got the basin there, and then the shower on this one is tucked away inside here again big rainfall shower and again the same level of finishes as we saw in the owner's cabin albeit obviously a little bit smaller if we cross over there is AV equipment in here of course that's tucked in behind here but the thickness of these doors cross over here again we're seeing this sort of organic feel of the sort of like a stone finish here and then this pale wood that wraps around it's very very smart another equally large and magnificent cabin same sort of setup so wardrobes here and AV equipment and ensuite and the shower in there again so that is those two cabins we go back a bit further And we find these which are even larger because of course they don't have to accommodate the corridor between them like these two had to again look at the way they've done this woodwork love all this and in we go these are just massive i mean you know not that much smaller a boat and this would be the owner's cabin wouldn't it and we've got two of these and neither of them are the owner's cabin they're just vip guest cabins you've got um, all this area across here there's storage in behind there i'll show you that in the other cabin actually and then we come on through again with the en suites, but a bit bigger again, a lot more floor space here, for example, but a similar quality and a similar setup shower down there. If we come back out of here and step across, same again. And I'll show you this. I'm only showing you this one because the one's a bit full of clothing, but this, is a huge closet all illuminated you've got the drawers down there as well but what you can do with this is you can put it the other way and you've got the same on that side as well so the drawers at the bottom there and of course that's a con continuation of that rail let's drop that back Okay, what else can I show you? I can show you, that's the doorway where we came in, um, another ensuite. Just a fantastic size. Really, really nice. And the shower again down the end. Beautiful. Love this backlighting around this artwork here. The detailing this is just gorgeous. I mean, these guys build much, much bigger yachts they also do commercial boats as well and you get a sense of that in the solidity and the engineering and everything else that goes into this it's a very solid feeling boat and very very nicely appointed okay let's head on up plenty more to see so what we're going to do now you might have noticed that there's not really a dining area but there is because it's on the next deck up but what i show you first of all is around here because you'd expect to find the galley here so this looks like a small galley and it sort of is it's actually the pantry so we've got access here so the crew can come down the side of the boat they don't need to go through the main accommodation if they don't want to and we've got things like the dishwasher and the hob refrigeration here and here but it isn't actually the galley i mentioned that the dining area was on the next deck up well so is the galley that is just a pantry if we come on down here this is the crew area so we can drop down these steps. We find a very nice mess area. This boat's about 96 feet, but it fits within CE regulations, the 24 meter load line length. And um, that's what's most interesting, I think, about it, is it does feel like a much larger super yacht, but you've got the running costs of a CE boat. This is the laundry. So washing machines and ironing board and all the important bits. And if we come around here, you've got TV down here. There's a monitoring system for the whole boat and there's a screen for that down here. There's another screen up at the helm. There's another screen in the engine room. So that's the monitoring system. If we look in here, let's flip the light on. 
that's the captain's cabin. And there is an ensuite here as well with a separate shower stall. There's three crew cabins, all of them have got en suites. Now there are two more crew cabins further forward. Those are there and they're both in use. So I'm not gonna go in there, but again, they're separate crew cabins with twin beds in each and they both got en suites in them. Okay, let's come back here. You're gonna ask, aren't you, what's under there? I don't know. Let's have a little look. Oh, a huge storage area. Okay, excellent. Right, let's press on up. We're gonna go upwards now. Have a look at the upper deck and have a look at the flybridge, have a look at the helm and so forth. So we're gonna come back out of here. This will take us back into the main deck saloon. And if we walk around this way, we can loop on around and this staircase will take us on up. So, plenty to show you here. We have got, let's go right up to the front first of all. That there is the pilot house. Totally separate, very professional area. That is obviously where the boat is commanded from. Again, these finishes of the wood, even in places like this, beautifully done. You can see here, obviously you've got all the multifunction screens for engine instrumentation, navigation, cameras, that's into the engine room. And this is the operating system. Don't know how well we can see this. Yeah, fairly well. So we can go in and look at things like DC power. We can look at lighting, all kinds of stuff, all controlled from there. The whole boat is configured through that. Okay, if we come out of here, we'll take a turn around the bow. We've got, put this that one up, wing stations here. So joystick control, bow thruster control, and so forth for when you're watching the boat in. And if we come up forward, this is where the other tender garage is. You can see these hinges along here. This lifts up and it'll take a four meter tender in there. As I say, there's also a five meter tender space on the bathing platform. It just depends how you want to configure the boat and how you're using it. If we come down here, obviously anchor handling kit, all that kind of stuff is here. There's also, is it in this one? Yeah, that's a chain locker down there. The one I was looking for to show you is, I think then for this one. Yeah, here we go. Cut this storage void down here for deck gear or anything else you want to put in there. <laughs> Suitcases, whatever. That's a very useful area. Let's drop that one back down. Okay, there's a lot more of this upper deck to show you. There's also a flybridge. So we'll come back through here that's obviously the uh, windscreens across there from the helm station. You can walk right around this deck, as you can see, but we'll hook back in because I want to show you firstly the galley, and that's in here, again with a side access door. There we go, proper full-on galley, masses of refrigeration. We've got a great big Miele induction hob across there, the big Miele cooker. Loads of storage about the places you'd expect. And this then can be open to the dining area or this can be closed off. Again, it just depends how you run the boat. Let's come on round. We'll take a stroll out of the back. This is, I can remember how to open it. Ah, there we are. A load more storage in places like this. And in here, again, I love these little bits of art about the place. And then we've got the dining room here. Now this is the configuration that this owner has chosen. Obviously you don't have to have this. If you prefer to have an upper lounge, you can have it. If you want the dining downstairs, you can have it. If you want the dining outside, then you can have it. It's very much owner specification. And this little fellow here, this extra stairway, takes us up to a private little sun deck right up on top of the boat. Here we go. How nice is that? Breezy old day today. This uh, Bimini on top, I'm told, will handle up to 30 knots. The boat doesn't do 30 knots, but it just goes to show how much that will take. 
and it's coping very well with a very, very breezy day today. These are carbon fiber poles that are holding it up. And then here we've got all the antennas, navigation stuff, two radars, satellite communications, and so forth, all on the back. But what a great little area this is, all very private, all very tucked away, right on top of the boat. Over here, we have the Tabernaki. I've learned the name for it. Sink underneath that one. And then you've also got refrigeration down underneath here. And then storage across here. And a brilliant view, of course, out across the front of the boat. Good afternoon, Can, on a breezy, breezy day. We are at the Cannes Yacht Festival, and it is fantastic. And yes, it is open to the public. People often ask, do you need to be invited? No, you can buy tickets and turn up. You do sometimes need to be invited on the yachts, though, because otherwise they would be overrun. So there we go. Lovely dining area. You've also got big sliding opening doors here, which is fantastic, because the through flow of air through here is brilliant like a sort of bar area here well not like sort of a bar area this is a bar area because you've got the bar stools across there and then these open to give you glasses crockery all that kind of stuff is all neatly tucked away and ready for use in there okay we'll come out of here we've got another deck here so that's all very splendid um, the walkway that we saw coming out of the helm station that's the door for it there this is the walkthrough down through here and then we've got steps here and these take us down to that aft deck where we came onto the boat in the first place so we'll trundle back down these we'll have a little look at this i love the way this seating area faces right out across the back of the boat that's absolutely fantastic you can imagine when you're at anchor the view that you get there is beautiful particularly because of course it drops away and you've got this sort of open terrace that um passerelle retracts completely away obviously you don't have to sit and look at that Awesome, let's press on around a little bit further. We've got engines to look at. So we'll come around here. This is the side deck that leads up to that access by the pantry that we saw. So we're back on the main deck now. Let's swing that one open. It's a lovely bit of engineering, isn't it? We will step into here. make our way down and down here we have a very impressive engine space look at that that is fantastic two huge generators one here and one here and a massive sea keeper gyro stabilizer in the center Interesting thing about this is this boat has fin stabilizers and a Seakeeper stabilizer. The Seakeeper, I think, is an upgrade. I think the fin stabilizer is a standard, if I remember correctly, and that you can have as an option just as a sort of a backup backup, if you like, really, I suppose, to really smooth things out. If we come right on back around here, we've got things like the water maker is here. This boat, incidentally, is two years old, I'm told. I, mean, I would never have known. I would have assumed it was brand spanking new. It's fantastic we come out here we'll find the engines and these are triple Volvo Penta IPS 1350 so pod drive and they are a thousand horsepower each now they're giving the boat about 17 and a half knots flat out so she'll cruise at 15 and the range on this one is up to about 2,000 miles depending obviously on how fast you're going so it's got some serious legs but that is, I think you'll agree, a serious engine room. Just fantastic. Okay, let's come back out of here. This is a control monitoring system again that we saw up at the helm. And also there's one of these in the crew cabin. I don't think I showed it to you, but it's in there. So again, we can fiddle around with things. Navigation lights are on here. Ventilation is on here. What doors are open are on here. It's an entire monitoring system for the complete ship. Okay, there we go.
Awesome. Let's come back out of here. lot of storage space of deck gear as well look at this fantastic i think we've about covered it let's wander around this side and i think we will slip back up here we'll walk up past the Helm station, this is upper deck area again. Now let's go right up on top, shall we? You can hear a helicopter taking off. Can never resist watching a helicopter take off. Are we in time? I can hear it, but I can't see it. It's tucked away down there somewhere. That is about the size of that. Massive, massive thanks to Palumo Yachts for organizing that. I really appreciate it. It's been a fascinating one to take a look at. Let me know what you think of it in the comments as ever, and we'll look forward to catching you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.